Tim, mm-hmm. let's just rewind the clock back to, to where j- j- I'm, I'm just going to hand it over to you, man. I'm just going to kick it to you. You, you, you just, right. you just tell your podcast <laughs> story, man. Just tell your podcast story. <laughs> All right. I got you. I got you. So, so this time last year, if you would have said to me anything about a podcast, I'd have been like, man, you're crazy. There's no chance. And, um, we're part of the, the morning meetup and everybody was talking about podcasting. And I'm a part of the group, and I would tell you in the time I've been there, I may have gotten on the talk maybe five times because I'm so introvert. I didn't want to turn my camera on very often. I didn't want to talk very often. So I never believed that it was a chance. But something told me when you first offered um, the five days of podcast challenge, I was like, man, just do it. What's it going to hurt? And I signed up with you, never did a thing. The first time I never did nothing, I was too afraid, backed out, never did one step of it. And then again in October, you you had another offer for it. And I remember signing up thinking, okay, this time I'll listen. And you hit me back in a DM. You were like, hey, man, excited to have you here. Man, so you're in, right? (laughs) And I remember once I got that, I was like, oh, man, now he knows I'm here. Ah, gotta do it. But what I didn't take into account was one, the amount of information you gave us in five days, man, was unbelievable. You let me know that I had everything that I needed to be able to get started, that the only thing holding me back was me. So like you gave me that belief and you put me on the spot. It was like, Hey, tonight I need you guys to get on camera and tell me why you're here. And I remember going out to, I think I went to my truck and sitting in the truck and did it real quick, like hoping nobody's looking or anything like that. And after I did it, had to hit send, not even look at it. It was like, I'm not going to Facebook to see it. I don't want to ever see it. Um, Never want to hear my voice on there. I was like, man, my voice is horrible. Don't want to hear it. But what you did in that one week and having me repeat these steps and putting me in a room or a group of people who were doing the same process and being able to see their wins, being able to see if they had trouble, what it was, and you give them a strategy to to defeat it, gave me the confidence to just say, go for it. So I made a deal with myself that I was going to do six episodes. I was like, I'll do six episodes. That way I could say I did it and, and I'm done with it. Never have to do it again. What I didn't take into account is that I actually enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed the information I was getting from other people. I got used to being in front of the camera where it doesn't bother me as much now um, until I think about it, like I'm talking to you now. But um, all those things, man, it was just very deep down inside. And if you didn't have that program, if you didn't reach back out to me to say, hey, brother, I'm glad you're in, it may not have happened. So you know, I feel like God put put you in that place to get me to this space um, where I can do a podcast and feel comfortable, where I can now look at it not even a year later and say, I want to be better at this and invest the time into getting better at it. Um, where, you know, I'm a one man show trying to do my podcast, but I'm learning so much and everything that I'm, I've learned came from you teaching me and getting me going on those five days. So yeah, man, a year ago, there's no way I would have said I would have had a ridiculously blessed podcast or anything like that. It, it, I wouldn't have said I'd be sitting down talking to Jonathan Jones doing an interview. Like it, it was unheard of. That wasn't going to happen. But you helped get the ball rolling to, to go in that direction. And, and man, it's been a tremendous blessing in my life to be able to to, to learn those things and do those things and come and talk about it. So, man, I, I appreciate you for that. And that's why it's wild today that you're interviewing me. I was like, man, how is this, how does this happen? <laughs> but, um, man, God works in mysterious ways, man. And, and, you know, I count it as, as a blessing to be here doing this today. Yeah, 